Well, I think it's finished. Right. Let's see if the bloody thing works. Generator new release from Jin. Now let's compare it to this one from Engemore. Like considerably bigger and bigger magnets. And when I move that over, I can feel. I like the way that these um, brushes are set up on Jin's one. They look like copper brushes rather than graphite brushes. I love how you can easily take the base off the little dynamo that makes it easy to lay out like this and drill these holes in here. Um, just a just a really helpful thing. Got a very good helper here. Oh, Drop something. Okay, so what I'm thinking is a power pole is an old brush handle. And what I'm thinking here is I'll show you 10 minutes grinding needs to be tidied up a bit Bingo. Well, we'll see. Rings, 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 and rings. Now some of these, it's true, might have come off one of my wife's key rings, but let's not tell her that. The weather outside is horrible, hence the soggy chickens. Sorry guys, I can't control the weather. But um, here inside we're finishing up our little project with the generator and I've finally bought some stuff. This is the only bought stuff. A little bit of copper wire and a connecty thing down there. I'll show you how that all comes together in a second. We need a capacitor on our dynamo. The one I've got is out of a second hand power supply and I need to extend the legs. We need a capacitor because I'm going to use this sort of 1890-ish looking dynamo on hit and miss engines and so... We need to smooth out that um, power a bit, and it might help our um, LED not burn out. The comically large LED and the beautiful vintage generator were pretty much the only things that I bought new. Um, all the other parts of this are second hand. Oh, I mean, the lettering isn't second hand. I did put that on. Got a paintbrush handle. Let's see how it runs. <laughs> 